you're welcome to today's episode of pages highlights so today i'll be doing a review of yellow crocus written by leila ibrahim the story begins in april 14 1837 when mati a black slave is summoned to the family of the Wayne Whites. Mata is about 20 years old at this time and her son Samuel is barely three months old and is still being breastfed but she has to leave her own child at the call because obviously she's a slave she has no rights. She reports to the home of the Wayne Whites at the, at the time when little Lisbeth is delivered and the baby is handed over to her to be breastfed so basically this is like what the wet nurse does to actually breastfeed this child um Anne is the mother of the little Lisbeth but wouldn't even be allowed to hold the child with the claim that she was weak having gone through the label the, fa the family is not particularly excited about Lisbeth because she's a baby girl and you know, our expectations for a male child. As Matthew continued her role as the wet nurse to the child while desperately missing her own son who had to be cared for by her grandfather and friend, she takes comfort in staring at the slave quarters from the window every day and watching her son from the distance. In in time, Matthew forms a bond with the child Lisbeth and the two became so close which wasn't like a usual thing at that time to see a bond so strong between a black slave and a white privileged child. This wasn't even a common thing as at that time. Matthew teaches Lisbeth a lot of things about life, songs and Lisbeth would always stroll down to the slave quarters in some way, she enjoyed the company of Marty even more than her own family. At, the, at that time, even before slavery was put to an end, she began to detest the way in which the slaves were being treated. Marty would later make a tough decision with her husband, who was also a slave in another field, to escape from Virginia to Ohio where they could be free people. This was really tough, but then they eventually made it through and became free people in Ohio, though they had to change a lot about their personal identity in order not to be cut. Lisbeth is terribly heartbroken when she finds out that Martin left without telling her, but still she kept Martin's secret of escape safe and away from her family. Lisbeth grows into an adorable and courteous lady and is engaged to be married to another wealthy family, the Cunninghams. However, she finds Edward to be really arrogant, but then she kept playing along with the whole arrangement until the day she found him forcing himself into a handmaid. This was rape, but it wasn't considered rape during that era because obviously the slave had no choice and no voice and no say. The sight of what she saw haunted her for days and even when she spoke to her mom about it, she, it was considered normal. But for Lisbeth, this wasn't considered normal. So she made a bold decision to break off her engagement with the arrogant Edward. Of her against the will of her family, she marries Matthew and together they move to Ohio and begin their life. Faith brings Lisbeth and Matthew together when Lisbeth is about to deliver her first baby and Matthew is the midwife that delivers her in an almost complicated delivery. The two women now in Ohio still maintain their relationship but from a distance because they cannot be seen together and Matthew cannot be discovered as a slave. In some way, we can see Yellow Crocus as a love story that examines the relationship between a child and caregiver. It can also be seen as the coming of age story of Lisbeth, the culture surrounding her, the sort of pressure her society places on her, and her fierce determination to break away from the norm that isn't truly right. Yellow Crocus was actually engaging. I think it was an interesting read. Um, a little, okay, a little bit about Yellow Crocus. Yellow Crocus um is a plant that um, shows the sign of spring um it blooms in the most adverse soil and in a way it is a perfect metaphor for the book a story about the coming of age of a young white girl in the 19th century and a black slave one key fact about yellow crocus it's the first book written by leila ibrahim 
and when she actually wrote this book it was rejected like totally rejected by various publishers i mean they would read it but they kept telling her that her story wasn't something that the world wanted to read and all of that eventually with dogged determination she self-publishes this book in amazon and this book received such a wide recognition and the rest is history so yeah it was an interesting read i absolutely enjoyed expectations were high really wanting to understand um the lives of slaves as at that time and how it was for them but that wasn't really um the focus of the book i actually expected to see more of that but that wasn't um really the focus in yellow crocodiles although i think in mustard seed a lot of attention was paid to that so thank you for staying tuned if you haven't so if you love this video please give it a thumbs up click on the like button um like comment leave a comment let's have a conversation in the comment session and click on the subscribe button so thank you for staying tuned